If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Sage 50 can record account beginning balances in any period for companies that have no posted transactions. After one or more transactions have been posted, Sage 50 instead records beginning balances as prior period adjustments. To enter beginning balances for accounts in Sage 50 Accounting, select Maintain, Chart of Accounts from the menu bar, and then click the Account Beginning Balances button in the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. Next, select the period for which to enter or adjust the account balances in the Select Period window. Usually, account beginning balances are entered for the period before the first period for which detailed transactions are entered. After selecting the period, click the OK button to continue. The Chart of Accounts Beginning Balances window lists each account. Depending on the type of account, enter its balance into either the Assets Expenses column or the Liabilities Equity Income column. Sage 50 indicates which column to use by making the other column unavailable or grayed out. Then enter the beginning balances for the company into the appropriate accounts under the correct column. Ensure you enter all the account balance information needed. After entering the account balances, if the trial balance at the bottom of the chart of accounts beginning balances window is not zero, then your books are out of balance. If you click OK to set the account balances when they are out of balance, an error message appears and tells you that if you click OK in the error message, the difference is then posted to the beginning balance equity to keep your books in balance. This lets you enter and post transactions, but the discrepancy amount appears on general ledger reports and on the balance sheet until it is allocated to another account. A better idea to fix this is to instead click the cancel button on the error message to return to the chart of accounts beginning balances window. Then correct the accounting discrepancy. When the trial balance is zero, you can then click the OK button to continue. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.